Hi everyone, my name is Vache from HomeRecordingStudio9.com and thanks for watching my videos. I hope you're getting all of the information that I'm providing and they are helpful. Uh, if they are, please um, do subscribe to my channel so you can be updated all the time and feel free to comment on any of my videos. Um, that's how we can communicate and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, what today I want to talk about is in a situation, I've um, just been recording my um, latest song and the song that I'm recording it has two different uh, tempos within the same song as well as two different time signatures. Now that could be some uh, quite common in um, Armenian as well as um, you know Eastern European and you know that in that sort of region area uh, song and music where time signatures and tempo do change within the song. And uh, what I'm going to explain to you today uh, using my um, Personas Studio One software uh, of how to record and to tell the program how actually time signatures change. Because as you can remember, um, I use my keyboard arranger to synchronize with my DO to get uh, each instrument and tracks uh, on multiple tracks or so separate the, um, the sounds from my keyboard arranger into multiple tracks and to keep that all in sync. So it's really important that the program um, to set up correctly so all those time signature changes as well as tempo changes are actually within the program. So that way when you get the grids and you want to snap your, um, your instruments, your timing into the grids, it's all correct and it's all working correctly. So uh, without further ado, let's get on and I'll show you how that's done. Right, let's start. So I will quickly demonstrate um, a song that's still in progress. And part of the song that we're going to hear is how it changes uh, time signature from 4-4 four, four, uh, for about here into 6-8, uh, slow 6-8. And then from then at the end changes back to the 4-4 four, four time signature and continues on. And at the same time, the tempo changes as well uh, from uh, 126 uh, bits per minute down to uh, 78 and then back up to 126 again. And it obviously uh, there's some rolls and things happening. So I will show you how that happens. But in the meantime, let's have a quick listen. The uh, transition to um, the 6-8 and from the 6-8 time signature back to the 4-4 time signature. So now it's transitioned into the um, uh, slow 6-8 time signature. And let's have a quick listen how it transitions out again. Okay, now this song is still in progress. I haven't even um, really edited as such, so <laughs> you can see it's, it's still in blocks. But um, I thought I'll uh, show it to you how it's all done. So if we try to zoom in uh, into the sections, as you can see, uh, pretty much uh, how the time signature at the top, how it appears. So you've got 4-4 four, four there, and then you'll have 6-8 six um, six, bars there for that time signature. So it makes it really easy to um, tie up uh, the... Um, the, the sounds into the and snap them into into the grid. Now the way it's done is you use the this button here where it says um, uh, tempo track. So you can actually have that as you can see over here we've got the tempo track that starts at 126 bits per minute that's our 4-4 four, four track and then once we if we want to uh, let's say you change it, matter of clicking on the bar, um, let's say if I do it here, um, and then you can add one there, as you can see now we've got 126, now we'll be able to change this temper to whatever we like, where in this case over here we've changed it into 78, so the whole tempo slows down to 78 from 126, even though that's one, so we can even have it um, make it slow down, even you know, in progressively slow down if you wanted to. So that's how that bit is done. Um, 
Now, for time signature, it's a matter of uh, clicking at the top and um, insert time signature. So simple as that. So we click it, and then let's say if we want uh, that to change to 3-4, um, now it's down to 3-4 instead of 6-8. Change. We need to change that back to 6 8. Um, so that's how easy it is able to, we, we are able to change it. Different time signatures, so we can snap on um, any uh, MIDI, especially MIDI uh, notes if you're recording in MIDI uh, instruments and every other uh, drum tracks and things you want to uh, synchronize it to. Let's see if we have a quick look at our kick drum so as you can see it's uh, pretty much synchronized into the the grid and if we look at the um kick drum of the slow 6 8 and they synchronized into that as well so um it makes it really easy uh, to make sure that all things are in sync so hopefully that helps uh, i'm not sure if i explained it easy enough so basically um you just need to use your uh, time tempo track to actually change your tempo and then you can uh, insert time signature and then change it to whatever you like it to be uh, from that beat on and so on so um, hopefully that helps you out um, in the meantime I'm, I'm hoping to be able to uh, finish this song uh, quite soon and it'll be out uh, released um, so it's a, it's a new song till next time thanks for watching and uh, don't forget uh, to uh, subscribe and feel free to comment on my video. Cheerio.